Hello, we are solving some equations today. So starting with negative 2x minus 3 equals 3. I'm just going to add 3 to both sides because I want to keep my negative 2x um, all by itself. So the reason I'm adding a 3 is because that's how you get rid of that negative 3, do the opposite. So that goes away. 3 plus 3 is 6. And I bring down my negative 2x. So now I've reduced it a little bit, and my last step is to always divide by the number that's in front of the x. So divide both sides by negative 2. So x equals negative 3. Next problem, I've got um, x's and numbers on both sides of the equals. So you actually have four different choices of what your first step could be. You could subtract 7 from both sides because that's a positive 7. You could subtract 2x. You could subtract 4x. You could add 3. Any of those would work. Um, I just typically have a habit of I try to keep my x's on the left and then my numbers on the right, but you don't necessarily have to do it that way in order to get it right. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides as my first step because I like all my x's to be on the left of the equal sign. So I bring down my 7. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x. 4x minus 4x, that goes away. That's why I did that. And then I bring down my negative 3. Also, just a quick note. Um, notice that I'm stacking up what I'm subtracting. So I subtract my 4x, so I, so I stack it up right underneath the 4x. A lot of times I see... Um, when students are working these out, they'll just write the minus 4x like anywhere, and it kind of looks like you're doing negative 3 minus 4x, which that's not what you're doing. So don't write it here, write it here. And then same thing over here. Don't write your minus 4x underneath the 7 because you actually can't do 7 minus 4x. They're not like terms, so that's not possible. So make sure that you keep it organized and write it um, right in the spot that you're supposed to. The x's go on top of each other. Okay, enough about that. So now I'm down to 7 minus 2x equals negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I want my x term to stay put where it's at, and I want to get rid of this 7. Since it's a positive 7, I'll subtract 7 from both sides, and I end up with negative 2x equals negative 3 minus 7 is negative 10. Oh, yeah, those seven needs to go away. Then same last step as always. This is just about always your last step is to divide by the number in front of the x. So then I get x equals 5. Remember, a negative divided by a negative is positive. Okay, last problem. Same situation again. I've got four different terms. I could subtract 6x from both sides. I could add 10 to both sides, I could add 8 to both sides, or I could subtract 3x from both sides. So I like to move all my x's to the left, so I'm going to start by subtracting my 3x from both sides. So that gives me 6x minus 3x. Notice I wrote those together on top of each other. That gives me 3x. I bring down my minus 10 bring down my negative 8, and then that goes away. Okay, so now I've got a 3x minus 10. So what I want to do is get rid of this minus 10 so that my x term will be all by itself. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides, bring down my 3x, the 10s go away, negative 8 plus 10 is 2, I divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals two-thirds. It's not always fun to get a fraction at the end, but there's nothing wrong with that. Hopefully that was helpful.